everyone, it's Eddie the Chump coming back with 12 Gauge Justice. I'm here with my man Jimmy P. Say hello. Hello. So yeah, we're coming back with another episode, seeing as the last one was quite popular, all our mates seem to like it. So um, this is a, an aground 3v3, shock, horror. Um, we're both using models and um, we're going to hand out some 12 Gauge Justice, ain't that right, Jim? That's what we do. Right, so the subject for today... Oh, look at this video, it's focused, isn't it? I know. Look, we're, I'm on the money today. Yeah, oh, we both get off the cliff, this. bruv. Uh, yeah, <laughs> basically, I'm on the left, Jim's on the right on the gameplay. Um, we shamelessly kill whore in this game. Um, I'm not even going to apologise for it. You shouldn't. I no. think, you know, free, free versus free brings out the best in people. If you're bad, you suffer. Yeah, it's you... just amazing. They shouldn't have let us get away with this. Oh, look, I found a nice uh, spot to... Uh... I think one of the guys isn't even playing. So, look, I shoot that guy in the back, he doesn't even notice. So, I kill his mate and then saunter up to him. Man, we're playing some bad players here. I oh, know, these people were awful. I mean, there is a reason why I'm chilling in the caves, which everyone's going to be watching and going, Jim, didn't you do this in the last video? Yeah. You were right, I did. You, um... You have uh, been watching some Wings of Redemption. I like Wings. He's, he's a great player. But actually, in my defence, I was thinking maybe I can get a Moab. I know it'd be a bit cheap if I got it from just camping in the cave. Uh, let's, let's be honest, Jim. You have actually never got a Moab before. No. Which I, I am personally shocked by because you are good enough to get one. Forever I think. a rose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've actually got a subject for today because this is a conversation we have amongst ourselves um, about the Perk Assassin. Oh, this would be a big one in the YouTube community. Or our friends. <laughs> or our friends, yeah. All the 15 people that watch my videos. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, the, I think I'm going to put my point across, and then you can counterpoint that, Jim. Well, I think you should. I think that's a very good idea. <laughs> All right. Okay, my point is this. My point is this. Um, wow, I survived Dead Man's Troll there. How, can, <laughs> how unbelievable is that? Um, I think stealth perks have their place in Call of Duty. I think that you need a perk like Assassin. Um, to stop people like Wings of Redemption. I actually think you need a way of staying off the radar, a way of flanking um, where you're undetectable to stop people that post up too much. And yeah, I, if, I concur. Right, you concur, right. We do differ slightly in our opinion, but I just want to sort of outlay mine a little bit more. If you have a game where everyone is stationary, this argument's been made many times, but if that's the case, if you have, say, 3v3, and you have three people that are hanging back and three people that are constantly the aggressors. The advantage is obviously in the people that are hanging back. Now, Assassin gives you that ability, if they're safe, they're using portable radars. Like, we use portable radars, <laughs> and it's kind of cheap, but they, the opposition could always use Assassin, and that gets round it. Every I now think, and then I they think, do. You'll yeah, see, I think you see it on this yeah, game. No, they Someone do. does switch to it. And I think if they need to be in the game, because that creates... If you have someone being aggressive and flanking with something like Assassin, what that does is it check, it rotates spawns around the map and it creates a flow, an ebb and flow to a match. Whereas <laughs> if you don't, some people hate that. Yeah, some people hate that. You don't want flow? No, flow. get to a corner. Yeah, get to a corner and and, he, and where's the most brutal head glitch in the game? I've got an M16. That's yeah. it. Well, what do you need I want to flow for? Type 95. What are these submachine guns? Yeah. <laughs> what are these running around perks? What's no. extreme conditioning? Yeah, hey, move Why fast. would you ever use it? Do you move in Call of Duty? Yeah. No, it is, I think that is a very fair point, but the thing that I get, especially with this game, and why actually all the previous games, they just haven't quite got the balance of that perk right. Ghost was like too overpowered. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you have to take it. You do if like you're playing a bunch. Yeah, of Yeah, if you played TDM in Black Ops recently, you, like you just got to because. You can't. But I think it is true. It being immune to everything. Like, you can't be seen, you're okay. not on anything, that's crazy, but I think the thing... I don't think you should turn up on portable radars with no, Assassin. No, no, like, I, I think... And I, okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's a difficult one, but the thing I get with Modern Warfare 3 is Assassin's too good. Okay, I don't, how is it too good? I think it's too good because it gets rid of Marksman, it gets rid it of... It should get rid of yeah, Marksman. It gets rid of Thermal, it gets rid of EMP, it gets rid of Counter UAV and UAV. So I think, the, just for balancing reasons, I understand, like, Assassin should take you off the map. Like, don't you mean get me off wrong. UAVs. Yeah, off UAVs. You're but off don't UAVs. Don't you think that it's only it's uh, people using Assassin, right? People complain about it. Don't you think it's only really a problem because in this game, especially, there's a UAV up in the air literally every five no, seconds. That's, that's one of the balancing issues. Oh, double kill here. Check it out. Oh, yes. suck it. Model with damage. Gotta love it. Yeah. But the thing that gets me is it's just some of the balancing tiers are well done and some aren't. I think marksmen should be countered. By Marksman Pro, so they how can it be countered by? Well, no, because they, they negate each other. If well, you've you mean got Assassin Pro? No, no, Marksman. So if you've got Marksman Pro, other Marksman people can't see you. 
that makes a balance. It's an to interesting. The game. It's an interesting take. I think personally, I love marksmen, but I do think it's one of the most overpowered. Yeah, they can't the stop. Like they... it's. I mean, being able to pick people up, more than more than just being able to shoot them, being able to see their names and where they are. I think a distance, maybe a distance thing with it, and yeah, maybe... but that's the whole point. It was made for snipers. It wasn't really made. Yeah, it wasn't they... really made for like some machine gun flankers. They don't really have very good foresight, do they? Yeah, but that's not, that's not really their fault. Well, They're just trying to make the best game possible. They could have concentrated on you know better hit detection, but. That's another issue. Maybe get the sh the point and shoot bit good first, yeah. and then I mean then then it's, elaborate. It's amazing when Jim and I obviously share a flat, and when we get hosts, uh, for some reason Call of oh. Duty thinks our connection's amazing. So when we get hosts, literally it's unplayed. People have like three hundred percent health. This is and ridiculous. It's yeah, it's so it's verges on unplayable. I have thrown the disc out of my Xbox numerous times and said this game's rubbish. I don't want to play it anymore just because of getting bad host connections. People think when you get host, it's a good thing. <laughs> I can guarantee you, I'm going to do a montage of bad host connections for us when we're host and me rage quitting. <laughs> with raging. Yeah, with raging. Oh, me yeah. rage quitting and knowing that I'm host. Absolutely knowing. Look, I think I missed this guy. Look, he's not even moving. <laughs> see, I Hello. don't see him for ages. No, um, yeah, me well. just leaving the game knowing, absolutely sure that I'm host and I am. And anyway, that's... Yeah. We're, we're, we're going, off, off, off subject, going off subject here, but back onto Assassin. Right, okay. So you said, you know, it's too powerful. It gets you out of too many things. I right, here's not, my point. Yeah, it's not too powerful. I just think they didn't, they kind of went, we need Assassin, so what should it do? Well, someone in the office, let's get to do everything. Well, yeah, you didn't, you didn't really think about that just well enough. Don't get me wrong, Marksman is a bit overpowered, but that's another, that's another time for another video. Yeah. But I do think it does too much. Like maybe. Okay, right, let me, let me just counter you here, right. First of all, EMP shouldn't be in the game. It shouldn't be in the game. Like, it, especially as a support streak, it just shouldn't be in oh, the game. Oh, God, no. Right, so, you know, if it's an assault streak, then I agree. Like, Assassin Pro shouldn't get you out of it. Like, if you've worked, say, like, if it's like a 15 assault streak, like, if you've worked 15 kills, there shouldn't be a perk that just instantly gets you out of it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But seeing as it's support, I don't really give a shit. I th it, first of all, EMP and stealth bomber shouldn't be in the fucking game. But <laughs> right, sure. you want to say assassins cheap? Really, what it comes down to is that people complain about stealth perks because it it is a way for other people to circumvent how they play. Now, if you are one of those people that likes to post up and you hate assassin, that's not because of campers. It's not because of people sitting in corners, which is bad. That's an abuse of it. Yeah. That is an abuse, but it's nowhere oh, no, near. No, they're always people. Are always going to abuse. Yeah, people are. People will camp even if you took st stealth perks out of the game. People would still camp. I, yeah, I promise you. Even if you put a mode on where there was a permanent blackbird, people would still camp. I yeah. pro absolutely. And they would put a claymore in front of them, and they would sit behind it. And if they got one or two kills, they'd be happy because we're not talking about world champions here. We're what talking did, um, about the worst players that play the game. What did um, Modern Warfare 2? You weren't immune to heartbeat since you were cold blooded. You needed ninja, didn't you? Yeah, uh, yeah, it was split like that. Yeah, yeah. it's split. Now, but see, heartbeat sensors shouldn't be in the game. I mean, heartbeat sensors, they made me laugh. That's funny. I mean, it's a cool idea because when I first saw it, I was yeah, like, oh, it's aliens. Oh, it's aliens. And then, yeah. and then it always resorts to someone sitting in the corner somewhere with yeah, a with... silenced weapon and cold blooded. Yeah. And you're like, or like, oh, what else did I think was really cool when Modern Warfare 2 came out? Thermal. I thought, yeah, Thermal's great. Yeah. Thermal's awesome. Have you ever played Overpass? <laughs> I, I, what is it? I think we were playing yesterday and I picked up a thermal type 95. Some people were trying hard against us because, uh, you know, Xbox Live, they mouth off. And I was like, how can you not have the best KD ever with yeah. this gun? I mean, hardly like... And it's always shit people. Yeah. It's always people with track. I, I don't mean to, you know, be a stat whore and stuff, but like when you, when you meet someone who's got a, a shit KD compared to yours and they're mouthing off at you using like quite a cheap setup. Type 95 with a heart, uh, with a thermal. Yeah, or, really? or a heartbeat, you know, camping in the grass at the back of a ground, you know, like on this level or in the cave or whatever. And you're just like, but I know we judge the game on different standards. So what I think makes a good player isn't necessarily what say like Wings of Redemption thinks makes a good player. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but there um, is kind of a universal, like if you can aim and shoot and you've got good reactions, that makes you a good player. No, like, no, Wings is mine. No, you're awful. Yeah. No, you don't run. Why would shoot. you move? Why would you move? Why would you move? No, I, I like Wings of Redemption. I, I like know I'm ragging on him, but like it is a totally different style to how I play. But like, I, you know, I always respect it when I watch it. I'm kind of like, I've got to give props it's because it's a different style. Yeah. But then I try and do it, and I'm like, I'm just acting like a douche. Yeah. I mean, I do. I it. feel cheap when I do it. Like I really do. Like I, I also don't have the patience for it. Like th at the end of the day, this is a leisure activity. Like, and I don't. 
do my leisure activity by sitting in a room and surprising people who walk around the car. I can't believe I got that killed. That's well, ridiculous. I think we need to come to some form of a consensus before the end of the video. Yeah, I, my, the consensus is this. I'm right and you're wrong. Uh, that's, that's a sticky standard. But I think <laughs> you actually find I'm right, you're wrong. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, okay. Well, that's the end of the game. We shamelessly kill Horde. Look, both of us over 30 kills. First um, game of the day as yeah, well. Yeah, we're us going for a gameplay. First game of the day. That's 30 how we plus kills. Roll. With a model. So. And the rest, 0.5 KD. And it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't because they were bad. It was because we we're amazing. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. No. I don't know. <laughs> See you later, guys. Laters.